MLA Works Cited An MLA Works Cited page provides a list of sources used in a research-based humanities paper. Identifying the source material avoids plagiarism and provides readers with a list of resources should they want to study the topic further. Each source listed on a Works Cited page or reference list needs at least one in-text citation in the research paper, including paraphrases. If no information from a source appears directly in the paper, then it does not need an entry on the Works Cited page. The Works Cited page is a continuation of the paper, on its own page, at the end of the document. Double-space the text with no extra spaces between entries. The page should have the same one-inch margins as the body of the paper. Use the same font as the body of the paper, typically 12-point Times New Roman. The writer's name and page number should continue in a running head from the body of the paper in the header aligned to the right side of the page. Place the title, Works Cited, at the top of the page, centered, and in title case, in the same font and font size as the rest of the paper. Do not bold, italicize, underline, or place the title in quotation marks. Include all sources used in the body of the paper on the Works Cited page. The first line of a source citation should be flush with the left margin. Indent the second and all subsequent lines using a hanging indent. Alphabetize sources by the author's last name. Works with no known author should be in alphabetical order by title. If two or more works have the same author, alphabetize by the titles. Provide the author's name in the first entry only. Use three hyphens followed by a period in place of the name for the entries that follow. When structuring a works cited entry, there are nine core elements to consider. Identify the author. If there is an editor but no author, place the editor's name in the author position followed by ED. Do not repeat the editor's name under other contributors. Enter the title exactly as it appears in the source. A container is the larger work in which the source appears. Examples of containers include newspapers, magazines, and websites. When an individual contributes to the work in some important way, add their name to the entry. Their role should precede their name, edited by or translated by. Include the version, if there is more than one from the source, such as editions. If the source appears in a work that is part of a numbered sequence, like a journal, Include the volume number. The publisher is the organization responsible for providing the source to the public. Identify the publication date. The location specifies where the information was found within the larger container, like page numbers or a URL. Not every core element will apply to each source. If a source is missing one, proceed to the next element. Here are some examples from the most common types of print sources.